what is a nick point? You know, we couldn't even agree on how to spell it among us at the, at the beginning. Some people use a K, some people just start with an N. But it's basically any break and slope in a river. And if you're in a canoe, you would say rapids or waterfall. You know, it's something you probably would portage around. Um, it's in, in the case of the Minnesota River, there are breaks and slope that are probably not real noticeable. But they can be waterfalls and they can be held up by bedrock. And the thing about a nick point is that the river doesn't like it, and so it tries to erode it. And it usually erodes by a plunge pool forming at the base and undercutting it, and then it kind of breaking off. That's in the case of a bedrock stream. In a rapids, you might just have a nick point kind of, look, or in something that's not hard like bedrock, you might just have it laying back and becoming a steep part of the river, but not a break in slope like a step. So it's natural for nick points to migrate upstream those two ways. Well, the nick point is just the, the passage of this glacial wave of incision. So it's the way this incision moves upstream into the tributaries. And sometimes you'll have a couple of nicks that move at different rates. Um, as far as how it relates to water quality, usually where the nick is passing, that's the most active part of the channel. That's where, like in the maple, you see the roads closed, you see the bridges, you know, being blown out, you see a lot of activity on the on the valley walls.